Hello, hello, veggie fam. It's your girl, Ashley of Fabulous Veggies, coming to you with another Test Tuesday. And this week, I was in a grocery store and I came across the Light Life's plant-based chicken breast chicken breast yes so you know we're thinking potentially on salads grilled chicken salads i'm excited to test this out this week and this is why y'all clicked on the thumbnail so if this is your first time tuning in this is what we do okay we take a vegan plant-based product we taste test it we get a star rating and we wrap up the video at the end because why spend up money honey why spend up money honey if you don't have to i'll do it for you also make sure to follow me on my socials during the week Yes, I give those updates. I do recipes. I have it on my Instagram. Check me out. Now let's get into this product review because this is what you're really here for. So let's get to it. Taking a closer look like usual. You guys know how I do. Showing you all the little facts and details, okay? Chicken breast, plant-based, pea protein. Yes, yes. And you're getting protein, you know, for all of you people who want to know how much protein you're going to get, this is how much you're going to get in grams, okay? Flipping it over, taking a closer look at the actual ingredients. The main ingredients we get is water and chickpea flour and then that pea protein with a little coconut oil. I noticed that's a lot of the vegan products. That's what they have in it. So at least, you know, it's standard. It's giving the standard base, okay? And it has a little bit of seasoning in here, but I feel like we're going to have to season ourselves, okay? We're going to have to a little some extra so i'm gonna do that okay keeping that in mind uh for future but for the review we'll see what it's gonna do this time okay and look they just kept it really simple with the main ingredients here calories 220 per serving if you're gonna do two of these little uh plant-based breasts you're getting 430 per container so this is what it kind of looks like um it's cute. Um, <laughs> it looks a little gray. Um, they kind of formed it like formed patties, but I think I'm going to try it out on the grill. They say that you can prepare it, um, let's see, pan fry it or in the oven, but I don't want to put it on my little George Foreman grill. So let's see how that goes. Stay tuned. Yep, I only seasoned one because I wanted to compare the taste, but yeah, make sure to put olive oil on it if you grill it because yeah, it's going to be needed for extra moisture. Okay guys, so I think I like filming from this side when I actually eat it, like, I think it's kind of cool this way. So this side is just the regular unseasoned side here. And then this one is seasoned, you know. I had to, <laughs> halfway through it. So note to self for you guys, ooh. <laughs> note to self for you guys, don't do it. Um, like on the grill it just it didn't get enough like moisture i don't think it's very dry so i think that's why they say like pan fry it or putting it in the oven to give it a little bit more moisture yeah because i had to end up putting olive oil in there on it after seasoning it and you know halfway through the cooking but you know it is what it is lessons learned things that i do so you guys don't have to so this is kind of what it looks like too uh texture wise kind of spongy so let's see how it tastes. Mm. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be into these meatless chicken items like that. Like Gardein is about as, as far as I go, I think, in my book. Because this one kind of reminds me of the like meat one. And I wasn't a fan of that one. I don't know. It's just like I can't get down with the the texture i mean i don't know i'm a texture girl and this one i don't know let's see if it changes if it's the seasoned one it's better seasoned but i don't know i don't know it's a little dry like i said it was it was dry when i i did it like and maybe pan frying it will make it more juicier or give it a little bit more oomph but if I had to give it a rating, I would kind of give it like the 2.53, just because it just wasn't, it was okay. It didn't really change my life. Um, I see what they were trying to do though, and I love the vision for it and the idea of it. And I think if I wanted to work really hard to like have this as an item for me, I could, but I think I'll just stick to like some of the other products that they have. I personally love Light Life for their hot dogs and they're a sausage that they have. So, I mean, they are still a great uh, company as far as like meatless products and things like that. I do partake in all of those. It's just this particular one just might not be for me. But, you know, let me know what you guys think. We're gonna wrap up the video. So comment below if you're gonna still give this product a try. It wasn't quite a win for me, but it could just be my taste buds.
buzz and things, you know how I do. Um, but thank you guys so much for tuning in with your girl, Ashley of Fred Bliss Veggies, where we're always cooking up fresh greens in the daily. Again, here are my socials for all of my day-to-day -day updates. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Bye.